Here's the problem for the atheist. What about those things that can't be explained by evolution? Hi folks, I'm Barack Lurie and welcome to The Barack Lurie Show again. Thanks for subscribing and I hope you listen to a lot of these videos where we talk about the dangers of atheism. One of the things that people insist on is that life is just a random event. The existence of life and the development and evolution of life has all been random. You've heard that many times before. But that's the great thing about dealing with atheism, is that it's binary, right? Either God created life and the development of the human and the universe for that matter, or God just doesn't exist. And everything that we see around us is the product of random billiard balls hitting each other, so to speak. And the reason why we exist is because of these amazing coincidences, okay? That's the gist of it. But everything in the mind of the atheist can be explained by evolution, survival of the fittest. That's the way it is, by small corrections and everything else. Here's the problem for the atheist. What about those things that can't be explained by evolution? For example, the notion of beauty. Not, not talking about attraction to the most pretty girl or something like that. I'm talking about beauty in the sense of a sunset. A dog doesn't look at a sunset and say, wow, that's pretty awesome. That has nothing to do with evolution. Same thing with music. Only we humans really have a sense of music and the creation of music. But that's not necessary for our survival as a species. Same thing with humor, right? I mean, no, nobody ever died or no species ever went extinct because they weren't funny enough, right? Likewise with the notion of free will. No one has ever explained free will through an evolutionary process. It is impossible to do so. The notion of consciousness cannot be explained through evolution either. Now, people will say, well, you know, it's just a matter of time before science will figure this out. It's all, that, that's not a good answer. You need to develop an explanation now, even a theory now as to why free will, consciousness, music, humor, and beauty, and all those other things that we can list, why they exist outside of the paradigm of evolution. That is a big conundrum for the atheist, and yet the atheist values all those things. The atheist needs to ask why. I'm Brock Lurie. Thanks for listening on The Brock Lurie Show.